Welcome to the Toolbox. If you got to check us out with our tool reviews on Craftsman Real Estate Services, you know that we are nerdy lovers of all tools. And the Toolbox, we explore a bunch of different tools, not simply the tool tool, you know, like drills, hammers, saw horses, everything in the tool world, but financial tools, leadership tools, life improvement tools, all of these things. But we're going to categorize it by what we're doing today. And today, we're doing a side-by-side -side comparison of tool tools. What is it? Let's jump in. Let me do a dramatic recreation of my initial unboxing of the tough-built job site work saw. It's the, the C7000 for reference. It's the top dog. So here's me. Oh my gosh. Why is that so heavy? Is it stuck? No. Nope. Okay. All right. No. Nope. All right. So here it is. Here it is. And I am a tough built fan. Love uh, their toolboxes, tool bags, and accessories. And I think that in general, when the name is so on point with something that we value and they stick to it, we're all good. So I was surprised to find that these highly reviewed, highly acclaimed, Work saw horses, job site saw horses are highly like, likely to give you a hernia. So, you know, okay, let's work on it. I'll get a little stronger. But how does it do? So this was my second reaction after whoa, that's beefy. Is how do you open this thing? Well, hmm. Let me uh, fast forward about 20 minutes of the original. You gotta do this, uh, it's easiest to put it on its side, to push the leg in, and to push this little this little button here. Let me make sure you see it, that little button there. Push that little button in. And then pull it out, but it's gonna get stuck because you gotta really make sure it's all the way in, not just flush, but all the way in so it goes under. Now, whew, all right, now we got that, that out. Mm -hmm. And then you do the same thing on the other side. Now I'm positive that you do this a lot and you get faster at it. But this thing hangs an annoying amount. So we got this out. Now we got this monopod. So let's spread our legs. All right, now we got it. We got a a shorty table. All right, yeah, this gave me a little bit of a pause, a little frustration. And then you go to the next step, you flip out these cam lock legs, and you extend the sawhorse to full height. All right. So there we have it, and then you got some cool nifty features uh, my favorite are the support fold downs here so if you were cutting a, a piece of sheetrock or a door like this door right here you would drop it onto the gear support or the the material support legs here or if you flip this around it's got another set of material supports here so cool Cool stuff. Um, less cool is overall. Gotcha. Uh, this is a little cam lock thing that you got to use to get your um, your two by four or two by six supports out, and then it flips this little thing out right here. So and it, you know, just kind of very well built, very tough, but a little cumbersome. Then, oh yeah, uh, it's 23 pounds. Then, uh, in, in, to put, the, put this in the price reference, uh, this is the top price point of this variant. There are, uh, there are several lower models. This one right now is about $50 at Home Depot. And then I'm bebopping along at Lowe's. And for about 40% more, I find a company that advertises like 17 second fold outs. Didn't know that was a pain point. 
until I unbox the 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 tough build. But let's see. You ready? Let's time it. Dang, that's nuts. That was nuts. Uh, not to mention 17 pounds with the Bora, 23 pounds for the tough fill. So, how do they stack up otherwise? Because what I was a little pleased and a little <laughs> agitated to find is that the tough built saw horses that I thought were just going to be the cream of the crop do in fact have some strengths that their competitors don't have. But when I was mounting and weighing the amount of frustration I had at fumbling around to get the, um, get the, uh, the saw horse open, I'm trying to imagine that all day, every day, every time I want to use it. So. Let me tell you a little bit, bit about the Bora. This is the Bora Speed Horse, well named. And you just saw the rapid deployment. Let me show you how it folds up. You've got this nice tilt lever on the side. Post, you uh, pull that up and you stuff it up. So, easy up, easy out. Now, as far as the horse itself goes, once it's out, it has a little less bang than our tough belts. Notably, uh, our, uh, our, Bora, our Bora has the fold-out material supports, which I like, uh, but they are substantially lower grade and lower strength than the tough belt. You can expect the tough belt to support up to 80 pounds, and if you can, if you can see this, it's just this construction's it's it's fine. It's just not going to pull 80 pounds, I would say. Um, as far as the the height, the height is what you get. Their the legs aren't adjustable, but I think that the five pounds of difference you get for every one of the tough built saw horses over the Bora saw horses you know, those bells and whistles that you add on is what leads to literal pounds that you're carrying. So, uh, you, you still got your two by four uh, here for your job site table for, so that your cuts are nice and even. You got, you got your, uh, your material support and you've got a good reasonable work height. Let me show you these side by side. So the tough built at top, top level, and the Bora are similar. They're about three inches different. Uh, but yeah, another thing is the noise factor. Every single time I scrape, move, or in any way uh, jostle the tough bill, it's, it's, it's metal clanging. Versus the Bora, really smooth, really simple, really nice from that angle. The downside that I've got to give them a knock for is this. This is your handle. It's a it's kind of a claw, it's like a rock climbing move. Versus the tough build, you've got a strap on top. Again, I know that adds weight, but it's weight that I would say that Bora would be wise to work into this top here. And you could even get rid of this grip and do a little divot, so you save a little space. But all in all, I'm dumbfounded. I was hopeful that the 40% higher cost that the Bora Speed Horse is over the top end of the top built would be foolish, would be waste. But I don't think it is. If you value the bells and whistles, if you value these side supports, if you value the adjustable leg heights because you need a lot of variable work, height work services, then the tough built C7000 is a good choice. It's super heavy duty. It is rated to hold, I believe, 1,300 pounds. The Bora is rated to hold 1,500 pounds. Less moving parts, less variables, less to go wrong. But all in all, for my purposes, I think the Speed Horse is the one I'm riding. Let me know what you think. What are your thoughts about the Bora Speed Horse or the Tough Built Job Site Saw Horses? I know there's a lot of good opinions out there, but I wanna hear yours.